to a summer's day. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hero Spotlight. Today I'll be introducing Sinestria, Blood Moon. Sinestria is an assassin who can switch between melee and range mode and steal tons of HP. She is very much a sleepy character who sleeps in the battlefield and becomes completely invisible, so no one can tell where she's sleeping at. What makes her unique is her passive. She may not use any active items, but instead that slot is replaced with her passive. Once she triggers it, she creates a ritual to finish herself off while dealing tons of damage to the enemies nearby. If she has enough stacks, she will respawn in the same place after the ritual. Sinestria is also a member of the Shadow Hand, along with Elaine and Fawn. When Violet and Butterfly escaped from the Shadow Hand mansion, she greeted them, well, sleepily. A rough conflict ensued. If you want to know what happened, the link to the comic lore video is in the description below. That's enough of a backstory, now let's learn about her abilities. Starting with her passive, Blood Bramble. Sinestria's passive replaces active ability slot with Blood Ritual. When Blood Ritual is triggered, Sinestria channels for 3 seconds and dies, causing a massive explosion, dealing physical damage to nearby enemies and stunning them for 1 second. This makes her immune to all kinds of control effects. This ability can't be cancelled after activation. Whenever Sinestria gets a kill, she gains a stack of Blood Bramble, which is consumed every time she uses Blood Ritual. Each stack of Blood Bramble reduces resurrection time by 4%. If she reaches 7 stacks, she will be resurrected with full HP in the same location. Basically, she won't die. Moving on to her first ability, Blood Hide. Sinestria quickly moves towards a target area and she'll quickly fall asleep. This ability can be stacked up to 2 times and charging time is quite long so you better not waste it. This ability also has a passive, if she doesn't move for 2.5 seconds she'll fall asleep and become invisible. Sinestria's next normal attack will have pierce whenever she falls asleep. Now it's time for a second ability, Blood Ghost. Sinestria switches between melee and range modes. When in melee mode, she will deal additional physical damage equal to 4% of the target's lost HP, absorbing some of the damage as health. This effect is half on non-hero targets. When she's in range mode, she will consume 4% of her current HP and leaving a stack of bloodstain on the target. Range mode will disable lifesteal. When she switches from range to melee, all the bloodstains from all the targets will turn into blood swords and sent to the target point dealing physical damage to the enemies in their paths and exploding to deal physical damage again. If Sinestria sends them to herself, each blood sword will restore 5% of her lost HP. And finally, her ultimate, Blood Samsara. Sinestria uses blood to control her target, which can be used while disabled after the 0.5 second ritual. After the ritual, total HP of both parties is split evenly and Sinestria will also recover her HP. There's a bit of a trick when it comes to Sinestria's ult. As it splits both of your HPs evenly, you should use your ultimate when you're low on HP, rather than when you have more HP than the enemy because you'll heal the enemy and lose your own HP. Using your ultimate at the wrong time may put you into trouble. Her ultimate also has a passive which increases her movement speed by 30% when her health is below 40%. So, here's 11 things that you should and shouldn't do while playing Sinestria. One, use your invisibility wisely so you can gank anyone, anywhere. Two, don't use your passive unless it's seven stacks, or if you're actually in trouble. It's super duper mega important because after using, your stacks disappear. You will only use it once or twice if you're lucky, so you better not waste it. Number three, quite simple, don't waste your first ability. Number four, remember you have pierce as a first normal attack whenever you go to sleep. You can use it and chain it with your first ability to have double pierce which can help you chase the enemy. 5. Grind HP with your melee mode as you absorb some of your damage as HP. Number 6. Stack up your second ability on a creep if possible, so you'll have an option of AoE ready when you join a fight. Number 7. Poke your enemies with your range mode while finishing them with your melee. Number 8. Turn your volume off. Don't ask why. Number 9, use your stacks on yourself to gain quite a decent HP if you're running low. Number 10, don't ult mages with low HP. Number 11, do ult tanks with high HP. And number 12, that's basically that. 
You have now mastered Sinestria and ready to dominate the Antarius battlefield. Even though she looks difficult, Sinestria is no harder than Elaine. You may need some practice, as stacking a passive all the way up to 7 and switching between ranged and melee isn't easy, but once you get used to them, you will be unstoppable. That's it for today's spotlight, you can see our build recommendations for Sinestria on the screen now. Also if you haven't seen it already, go check out her comic lore video, the link is in the description below. And as always, if you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments below. See you next time.